The aircraft departed North Las Vegas Airport, destined for Rosamond, California. The initial route of flight appears to have been direct Daggett Vortac before turning southwest toward Rosamond to avoid a restricted area east of Rosamond. The flight was conducted under dark night conditions with clear skies and good visibility. The aircraft flew into the first mountain along the route that rose out of the Las Vegas Valley. It is likely that the pilots did not have terrain awareness turned on, as the display would have given them a very clear indication of their proximity to terrain. Here's what the display would have looked like six minutes before the aircraft crashed. The terrain awareness display clearly shows that the terrain ahead is higher than the aircraft. We can only speculate about what the crew might have been looking at if they did not see this display. They might have been looking at the display with the terrain awareness turned off. With this display, it is not obvious that the terrain ahead is higher than the aircraft. They might have turned topology off as well. They might have been looking at an auxiliary page, such as GPS status, system setup, XM information, or system status. One member of the crew was fairly new to the airplane, and they might have been exploring the features of the G-1000. During this critical phase of flight, though, they should have had both terrain awareness on, and topology on. Here's the view at 4 minutes. Note that the terrain area shown in red is getting smaller as the aircraft climbs, but it's still clear the terrain ahead is higher than the aircraft. Here's the view 2 minutes before the crash. The area in red continues to become smaller, but it is still obvious that the terrain ahead is higher than the aircraft. For the last minute and a half of flight, the aircraft was less than 100 feet above the ground, and the display would have been showing the red warning area directly ahead. Our suggested best practices to avoid this kind of problem are 1. Avoid GPS direct to a destination, particularly in mountainous terrain. Plan your route around mountains, water, and unlandable terrain. And 2. Have at least one display configured with terrain awareness on at all times. When you're on the ground with terrain awareness on, the background will go completely red as you're less than 100 feet above the ground. Thus, it's sensible to turn off terrain awareness on the MFD while you're on the ground. Once you're in flight, though, you should turn it back on. This might be something you should add to your checklist for initial climb. Notice that as we climb, the red and yellow areas become smaller, and you have a clear indication of where higher terrain exists ahead. To find more information about the G-1000, visit us at pilottraining.com forward slash G-1000.